Clark County investigators continue to search for what sparked a deadly house fire in Ridgefield this morning. And human remains were discovered inside that home just a few hours ago. It burned in a very rural area along Northwest 41st. And our Wayne Haverly joins us live from the scene now with the very latest. Wayne? Yeah, Jennifer, it's been about 13 hours since this fire broke out. And just in the last couple of moments, the last of the fire crews have left. The investigators are still here, but behind me here, you can uh, see what's left the rubble. They had heavy equipment. A big excavator was brought in to go through this uh, rubble, and that's how they ended up finding those remains. All of this started just before four this morning when a neighbor smelled smoke and called 911. By the time neighbors ran to this burning home, it was fully engulfed. Two men escaped the home. The missing woman's boyfriend, who jumped out of an upstairs window and is being treated in the hospital, and the missing woman's brother, who family members say was sleeping on the couch downstairs. The missing woman may have stayed inside that home to search for her dogs. Clark County fire investigators use an excavator to peel back charred remains from a farmhouse, searching for clues as to what may have started this fatal fire. At just before 4 a.m., neighbors smelled smoke and called 911. Chopper 6 shows you just how fast the fire moved this morning. Neighbor Kiss Kredzer witnessed cars exploding on the north side of the house and two frantic men who had just escaped the fire. The victim's brother, who was sleeping downstairs on the couch, and the victim's boyfriend, who jumped out an upstairs window to escape. Because there, there's ammo going off and tires pop. I said, just get over here, get over here. And then another person came, and he was limping really bad. Well, he's the one that jumped out of the second story window. The missing woman's grandparents lived next door. Her grandfather, Walt Cutler, could only watch as fire crews made a risky move and entered the burning home hoping to rescue his 23-year-old granddaughter, but they were forced to retreat when the second floor started to collapse. We don't know if they're still within the house or something happened. We don't know where she's at. All we know is the house was just a big flame all, all at once. It had just started from the east side and went to the west side, and it was so fast. Family members believe the missing woman may have stayed in the burning home, hoping to save three dogs that were inside. Two dogs escaped, one is missing. The lab made it out, and so was one of her dogs. But uh, one dog's missing, I read? One dog missing, one granddaughter missing. This is a rural neighborhood where everyone knows everyone. Neighbors tell me they will do whatever it takes in the coming days to get their friends through this terrible time. And once again, at about 3 o'clock this afternoon, remains were found inside, and right now the medical examiner is working to identify them. Back to you. And our thoughts are certainly with that family. Wayne, thank you.